every second a thousand decisions. Do you go for style or do you go for speed? That's your decision, love. Do you bet it all or better not? Again, your call mate. Power slide or play it safe? Champ or chump, tough guy. It all depends. What's driving you? Project Gotham Racing, rated E for everyone. Hi there, and welcome to Revisit to Retro. I'm Johnny, and today we are doing the Let's Revisit on Project Gotham Racing on the Xbox. All the way from, there we go, 2002. So. So let's do it. So, quick race, because I think Arcade Race is. Yeah, I gotta get kudos points. So we'll do a quick race. Kick some people's asses. Go to San Fran. And I'll be the Viper. You can tell I was playing this already because I accidentally went into the arcade race and was just like driving around cones. So we're back. I'll be the Viper. I would be a different color, I think. I could be red. I get no race stripes, but I'll get over it. So, Project Arm Racing. Yes, I didn't get this Xbox on launch. Like a lot of my consoles, I didn't get it. I, I waited actually till I had my first job. So the console was probably about a year when I got it. So. I worked, my first proper job was in Dunn's in Limerick, and in the shopping centre there was a GameStop, so I got my first couple of paychecks together, went over and got my Xbox, and I got a bunch of games with it, and that was a fun Christmas. Oh, everybody's driving similar cars. So I recorded, I, I this is my second go at this, I recorded an episode already this exact same episode but um it just wasn't it wasn't great it wasn't good i wasn't happy with it i edited it and i listened back and i just i thought i could do better i said johnny you can do better oh. instantly drive into a wall for saying that so here we are my second go at this i know people like raw gameplay footage but like, if it's not interesting for the the viewer or the listener What's the point? So I scrapped it and so we do it again. Oh, so the first time round, I was as as bad as I am now, but I blamed the Viper. You know, the understeer and rear wheel driveness would kill you. So um, yeah, Project Arm Missing it was a launch title. I I picked it up second hand I think when I, I got the Xbox the games I got in launch I got, um, got definitely got Munch's Odyssey uh, Halo was in there this and I think I got a, r a rally game was a rally sport as well which I'll do an episode on at some point and I got two controllers one of them which I'm using right now and that was a fun Christmas yeah it was Halo and racing and Good times. Finish fourth. I'm a viper. Not good enough. So anyway, about the game, it still looks really, really nice. I think it looks very pretty. Um, I'm not like a big graphics whore. Like I think this looks good, but at, by the same token, I have a Jaguar, which I was actually going to do some Jaguar stuff today, but the AV cable I have for it, it just wouldn't work at all. Now. I'm not sure if it's the cable or that outlet on the back because as anyone that knows anything about the Atari Jaguar it's like an open circuit board in the back of it, there's no covering so it's exposed to the elements and it has been for the last 24 years or however long it's been out. Right. <coughs> to London. Would it be the, would it be the F50? Would be the best car in the game? And Bugatti Yellow. Was that a salmon? 
colored car. It would be a salmon colored Ferrari. So yeah, I was planning on recording some Atari Jaguar stuff. Couldn't get it to work. It worked perfectly from the aerial cable, but I can't get that to go through my captures uh, equipment. So I have to order a new one, which I will do. So I pulled the Xbox out, but it was all packed away. So I had to use a Crystal Xbox, which is one I got on at a later date. And it took a bit of fecking around with it to get it working, but oh man, look at me go. Yeah, finally got it running. I kept saying that uh, it wasn't an Xbox disc that was in the drive. But then it, like, it would work. You just open the tree and close the tree a couple of times and it would pick it up. And that seems to be a recurring problem with these Xboxes. Because I've got three of them. I've got three Xbox, original Xbox consoles. And they all do the same thing. So it's probably the laser, I'd imagine. Wow. This car is a bit of a beast. Oh, there's a mileage counter. I didn't even notice that last time. Um, last time being the first attempt at recording this episode. So, yeah, the first time I, I tried this, ooh, um, <clears throat> yeah, my throat was really, really sore. It's a little bit better now, but it's still sore. But like, it was really bad. So I was just really, really quiet and talking into myself. And my cat had like literally just gone missing. Uh, he's still missing, but it was a. Uh, I wasn't in the phone for anything, so I'm literally doing this because it's either I record or I go up looking for the cat, and I've been looking for the cat for the last three days, so I said I'll do a bit of recording, take my mind off it. So here we are. So the game. Yes, it's it's way more, it's an arcade game. It's, I suppose, eh, come on. It, it has more than a passing resemblance to Metropolis Street Racer on the Dreamcast, which I did a couple of weeks back. They're like nearly identical, except this is on the Xbox, obviously. So this would be the spiritual successor to that game. And it's got Gotham in the title. You say Gotham, straight away you think Batman. Fifth in the best car in the game. I'm useless at this game. You could argue I'm useless, useless at all driving games because... Uh, Let's face it, if you've watched a lot of my a lot of my shows and seen me in racing games, you know I'm always just crashing into everything. But I would that down to me. Let's, let's, let's go up a, a difficulty. Let's go to... That's uh, very hard. Fisherman's Wharf. Let's do London. Westminster. And we'll do it in a Carrera this time. Ooh. Now we do. So, that's what train of thought there. I can't remember what I was saying. Because it veered off. So, anyway. Yes, got him in the title. Straight away, I think Batman. Um, I don't know why they put that in there. Why did like did they have, like, we could put, like, Batman in there as a character? I don't know. But, yes, I remember thinking this looked like. The cat's pajamas back in the day. It was really pretty, and I think it still is really pretty. It has like real DJs on the on the radio station, but they turn all that down because who has time for all those copyright claims? <clears throat> Again, these levels are really like the London levels. I noticed it first time round as well. They're really really dark. It's like they do have sunshine in uh, England, you know. I've been there. I know. Sure, I live practically next door to them, you know. We get sunshine here too. Not a whole lot, but we do get it. So you can have it a bit brighter than this, lads. Get out of it. I'm in a career, a bitch. Move. Yes. So, this game, from what I can gather, it's generally the same four locations, but you'll have different tracks in those locations. So, I suppose it's kind of a novelty back in the day, and now it's kind of like, you know, you see it in most racing games. But I can pick London. You'll get four different tracks in London. If you pick New York and you know so on and so forth. Uh, the cars, the cars look really, really pretty. Um, if I had a, ugh, I'm really bad at these games. I apologize. Anyone who's watching this and thinks I'm rubbish, it's I put it down to me not really concentrating when I'm doing this show because I'm talking. And at least if I'm playing a two-player phone, you would at least. Uh, 
like she's shitter than I am, so I can generally win those races. But yeah, um, it looks really good. It's like a, the Xbox at the time was like it was like so powerful. Like it didn't really, it was so powerful, and they didn't really give it a a fair go. Like you know, it was only out about three years, four years, and they, they cancelled it, you know, they were like, okay, now 360, they wanted to get the, oh man, they're already on the other side of the track. Alright, I'm just going to go out and, uh, and say it here is that, I alluded to it there a few minutes ago, this track is really, really dark on my screen, so you can see those, but I can't see, like in the shade, you can see nothing. So, um, Yeah, they didn't give the Xbox a fair shake. They rushed the 360 out just to get it out, and they got a year's head start in the PS3 with that. I didn't even see what it hit there. It's like, does this look? Does this game look that much worse than like a 360 racer? Like, it really doesn't. Like, it looks. This game still looks really good. The courses are a bit lifeless if if that's a fair uh, criticism of the game like just like it's like 28 days later here there's bloody nobody around like you know an, an odd spectator would be fine and then again I'm on my own track because everybody else is like you know lapping me at this stage you see, you see nothing here because it's so dark that's, my, that's not a criticism, a criticism of the game that's just the way I have this monitor set and it's too late to go fiddling with it now so music I said earlier on so I, I'm jumping on the lunatic because I keep crashing so I keep losing my train of thought um, I turned the music off because with, Met with uh, Metropolis Street Racer which had the same kind of setup as this where you had like songs and radio stations playing that video was like the copyright claims on it were numerous I'll just say so I turned it down this time but a great fe uh, feature this one had I'm not sure if it was in this game it was definitely in part 2 was that if you ripped music from CDs onto the Xbox hard drive you could play those mu those songs through your radio so you actually listen to your own music while you're playing which is a pretty nifty uh, nifty feature to have So yeah, the controls are very arcadey. Um, kudos point system. I, I'm not against it. I know people that love it. I know people that hate it. Doesn't bother me. It's five bloody laps in this thing. I suppose yeah, when you get really really hard, when you get to Jesus, when you get really hard difficulties, I suppose this is how to do it. But I have no hope of winning this race now, and I can't really see where I'm going. Uh, the controller, I'm using the controller S, which is the second controller I got when I got the Xbox. I had the Duke controller with it, the big one. And straight away that became my second controller. And I, I got an S controller with it, and I still have two of them boxed in the other room. Cylinder, plastic seal. But this one, the, I, c I can't find the Duke. It's, I know it's here somewhere, but I just don't know where. So it's in the other room somewhere. This one was the only one I had a hand that was like not a third party controller. And this one is missing its right, uh, like a rubber on top of the th the thumbstick, but you don't really use that in racing games. So it was either no thumbstick or a third party controller, and I was like, no thumbstick, screw that. Ooh. Causing thousands, one thousands to thousands of euros worth of damage to this car here. Or pounds, since we're racing in England. One more lap. No. Because they're all on the other side of the track. Ooh, so, yeah, we get out of here and we'll do two more races on two other cities. What have we done so far? I've done San Francisco, then England. I'll do a New York stage and I'll do a uh, Tokyo stage. And that'll be that. What do I keep hitting there? I can't see it when I'm racing because it's so bloody dark.
The Xbox, of course, capable of putting out widescreen images, which the PS2 uh, can't do. It, like some of the games on the Xbox can actually get, to, I think it's a 1080i interlaced, which is like really impressive for a console that old. So it'll look pretty when I when I edit it because I'm gonna play this on a 360. I have a 360. I got a brand new. Well, it was still in this box, brand new, but I got it for 40 quid because my old workplace was selling off all their video games. I I bought a ton of them, but the Xbox was one of them I got for 40, and it was 45 quid. A friend picked it up for me and put it away. So, happy days. But I, I need that external hard drive to go into it, or internal hard drive. So, I'll pick one of them up and then I can use that. So yeah, we're using original hardware here. Because I don't, I don't like emulating unless I really absolutely must do it and I was called out on Tekken 3 for doing it but my, we tried using the Tekken 3 disc I had and it just wouldn't work at all it didn't look scratched I don't know what was wrong with it like I had a few scuffs in it but like all my games have little scuffs in them okay we're not, we're not doing hard again we'll read ourselves into medium so we did London we'll do Tokyo and we'll do it in a where's that Cosworth is that Lotus? Exige? Or is it Iglis? Ooh! We'll do a. We'll use a blue Lotus. So, yeah, if I. Like, so I, I emulated that. And. Yeah, someone spotted it. I don't know how. But, fair play to him. I won't emulate it unless I absolutely have to, but. Bar that. Bar that one video. Every other game has been like original hardware. Like I have the stuff I don't record stuff I don't have. So unless I physically have a copy of the game, I won't do it. And I've got a lot of PS1 games. And I've got a lot of PS2 games. The a lot of Xbox games. So there's uh, quite a library of stuff there to go through for the show. Another thing people say is you do a lot of racing games. And um, yeah, I do, but it's not that I'm a lover of racing games. It's that if you want to build like a quick episode to let's revisit, racing games are ideal because you just show what the graphics are like, what the cars are like, what the tracks are like. I have a lot of games that like one I was looking at earlier was the, like the getaway which is technically supposed to driving game as well but and like there's a great history behind that because you had like that was the first game I remember where they had the uh, the doctored pictures of you know in-game graphics and then the game came out looked nothing like those pictures and like the hype around the game was mental and it came out like it was still alright I suppose I got it I thought it was meh like Gran Turismo 3 was around before or just after it but like that that killed it like Oh, Grand Theft Auto, that's a Grand Turismo tree? Grand Theft Auto tree. Um, the Lotus really goes. Um, what else was I saying? So, yeah, like I could do a quick. Oh, oh thanks, Car. Thanks for the helping nudge. They're reckless in this game here. What about your, your kudos points, lads? So. As I was saying, and fifth, I get four back. Yeah, so like to do like a let's revisit on that, you'd have to essentially play the whole game. Like, and now with this computer, I think you can do longer videos. I know because it's new editing. That's I haven't recorded anything for for two months because my main PC was was dying a slow and undignified death. I've since pulled it back to so much of a, a stable, like stable level. But my friend Mark. Hashtag shout out. My friend Mark uh, gave me uh, gave me a PC with a nice 7 processor, and he was like, "It's a good PC." So this is what I'm using now, and it's like a whippish, really, really quick. So that's my editing. So I, my editing software and all that's on this. So I have my own little editing corner now of a table in the opposite side of the room where it used to be, where my screens and all my capture software and the consoles I use are all here. 
so the Xbox is here and the Saturn and the PS3, the PS2, they're all here like so they're all snugly part of the table I got a kind of layered table thing and they're snugly underneath that so yeah it's pretty nice, I might put a photo up on Twitter to show off so yes <coughs> The rumble in this controller is also going. Is there any rumbling on the left side? Nice. Last again. Well, it's not the game's fault. It's my fault because I'm rubbish. I'm talking as well. I'm going to be a Ferrari again. New York. Alright, what do we got? Impre Impreza? I really call it Impreza. It's like, there's no Z in there. Lancer. Be the Cosworth. Be a white Cosworth, because I knew a guy with a Cosworth that was white. That's a focus Cosworth, so it's not the actual. Yeah, yeah, focus would be, would be the, the forward, the focus. So yeah, like I could do a lesser visit on longer games, but like I just want to be dipping into first levels of games and giving opinions on it that way because that seems a bit, a bit shoddy, like you know. But we'll see. We'll see going forward. I still got more to do, like you know. I haven't forgotten about some of the stuff I've done. I still have to finish off Metal Gear Solid Three, which which I'll pick up next week and finish it off. And I still have to finish off Crash Bandicoot 2. I still have to finish off the, the Sonic playthroughs. I still have Sonic 1 and might do Sonic CD after that. Let's see. Again, the level's really dark. For me, anyway. You're probably watching this fine, but it's, it's this monitor. It's a Walker TV. So its color is pretty shit. Oh. You'll excuse the uh, lack of professionalism there. I could go a whole week without getting a phone call as soon as we record. Everybody wants to talk to me. So we're back. Sorry about that. Boy, was my face red. So. But I have to take every call because it could be somebody with information on the whereabouts of me cat. So. I hope you all understand. I forget what I was saying before that now. Uh, so, yeah. Project I'm Racing. It's good. You can get it for pennies these days. I've seen it pop up on like second hand sites and second hand shops even for like a quid. Like CEX it pops. I've seen it for like 150 in there. Uh, it's a nice game to have for your collection. I'll probably do a two player funsy of it with uh, Lisa at some point. Let's see what the two player mode is like. So I can beat somebody as well. I know you're thinking uh but Johnny, you know, you've all the cars unlocked, all the tracks unlocked, you must be good at the game. Uh, there was a game save on the actual Crystal Xbox I got. It was a second-hand Xbox I picked up, and it had a Project Gotham Racing game save on it. And I was like, oh, let's see what that is. And they had everything unlocked. I was like, oh, look at that. So I went in, and I changed my license plate to the initials of the show. So, yep. I'm essentially riding somebody else's coattails here. But somebody else who's played this game on this console is a really, really good Project Gotham Racer, so I can live vicariously through them. So yeah, we'll be doing more Xbox stuff as we go forward. I had planned to do a lot of uh, Atari Jaguar stuff. I have like I have a, a lot of the games. It's like the the crown jewel in my collection is my Atari Jaguar. I have a boxed Jaguar, boxed games. I even have Dash game that everybody bloody loves but I played it and it's as choppy as hell and we all know what game I'm talking about that, that that game that popular first person shooter that uh, you know has two of those uh, franchises in it you know the one how that boxed pretty nice uh, I've also got some old arcade games because I found some arcade classics so a bit of pong action you know we'll get some of that going uh, I think I might do that for with the two player funsy 
and I'll get Lisa over and we play some Pong. But they'll be small. I might, I might have like mini episodes for that because like nobody's gonna watch a half hour of Pong. You know, I don't care how much you're into retro games, you ain't gonna watch it in a half hour of Pong. Nearly bought a Sega Rally arcade cabinet. It's one of those impulse buys where I'd be like, where the hell am I going to put it? But uh, yeah, I didn't. For one, it was too big, it would cost too much to get delivered. And two, it's like, it hasn't even been um, finished. Fifth, not even, not sixth, fifth, an improvement. We'll leave it there. We don't see me crashing into any more stuff. Um, we'll do one more race. Feck it. Yeah, it, it wasn't uh, remastered or reconditioned, that's what I'm looking for. So it was kind of like, the screen was a bit faded, and but it was a double cabinet, and it was in pretty good nick, but the screen was a bit faded. I'll do San Francisco. And I'll be... What I got going on here? Oh, they're all the crap cars. The rubbish cars. Be spider. Because I'm fear spiders, so I'll be a spider. I'll be a Nestle Martin. I'll be a blue Nestle Martin. So yeah, so we get. Uh, so I didn't get it. Um, where would I put it? Like, you know. So, and uh, the ZX Spectrum. I don't have a Specky, so. I was in contact with someone that was going to sell me their Specky, but then they went missing. It was a Specky with like 200 games for a steal, and it was box as well. And all ready to sell it, vanished out the face of the earth. I deleted their account on adverts, which is the site I sometimes go on to have a look around locally. Gone. Gone. Don't know, like, could have been a scam? I don't know. Who scams people with ZX Spectrums, you know? Oh, I'm really, really bad at these, this game. I think I'm better at rally games because they encourage this kind of reckless driving. Look at that. Like, how's that even physically impossible? I wasn't going that fast. Ooh. Go over this car. Ooh. Oh. And fourth, though, make an absolute clean shite out of my, my Aston Martin. I think it's only aesthetically the car gets damaged. I don't think like your wheels start buckling or anything like that because the car is not pulling in any particular, particular direction. Oh. So, would I recommend this over? Metropolis Street Racer on the Dreamcast. Uh, well, the Dreamcast is the Dreamcast, you know, so I was going to win for that. This game, I suppose. I Probably this one is easier to come by, I'd say. So you're getting, you know, more or less the same game. Bar new lick of paint. And, uh, like, obviously, you're in Gotham. Hey, Scott. So I would be a slow down there. I uh, I'd probably still prefer Metropolis Street Racer over this, but this isn't a bad runner-up. Get out of the way, Lotus. No time for your shit. I see, I just, I, that's what I do, I oversteer into all the corners so I just end up crashing, it's like I I expect a more simulation-y experience ah, uh, Lotus, come back I didn't mean it so I just steer straight into the corners and full tilt downhill see how much air we can get god damn it so yeah, this was Project Gotham Racing. 
hopefully it was hopefully it was interesting to watch as it wants to play and uh, yeah we have a new Facebook page so why not mosey on over there and just give it a like and we'll, uh, like I'll be kind of putting updates and maybe pictures in up there as well um if you like this and you want to watch more there's tons more videos there to watch spread over I think it's four shows we have and give it a like and subscribe because every like and subscribe helps especially in these uncertain days of YouTube so yeah thanks very much for watching and we'll be back again soon with probably Project Gun Racing 2 which I'm looking at right now and yeah I'll leave it there so I was Johnny thanks for watching and bye Mm-hmm.